Greetings, Cancer. Welcome to your horoscope. <clears throat> now, you've got the blessing of Jupiter in the first house. So, and one thing that Jupiter does is it gives us growth and it gives you kind of a higher perspective of wisdom. We say that Jupiter, in, you know, in the Jyotish, the Indian astrologers will say Jupiter is all about, <coughs> it's, it's the Lord of Gurus. You know, and um, it's the God message coming to people. The higher power. Symbolized by gold, by brightness, yellow. Full moon in Scorpio, especially if you're a later born Cancer in like mid, late July, you're going to reap a blessing from this. And what Scorpio full moon does is it excites your creative energy, it excites your relationship with your children, it excites your ability to be a teacher, it, it excites your ability to be a clown. All of these things get booted up. Okay, and since it's in that later part of Scorpio, it's kind of moving towards Sagittarius, moving towards that sixth house of service to others, helping others, working together as a team, helping small pets, uncles and aunts, um, organizations, getting yourself in shape physically. All of this type of practice will go well during this period. Taurus time, it rules your 11th house of helpful friends, planning for the future. All these things go very well. Do them. And uh, the transformational relationship thing will happen whether you make it or not. 